Welcome to Shorty Supercoach. I'm not sure what's rarer, me actually nailing a mid-pricer or me not going out on a Saturday night. Either way, over the next 10 minutes, I'm trying to do both. So, it's a quiet night in for Shorty on a Saturday, but don't fret. Sunday, we've got a long weekend, Monday off, so I'm heading out Sunday. So, I'll probably post this one on Sunday at some stage. So, spare a thought for Shorty out there. He's probably had one too many vodka orange juices right now. So, in fact, probably what's the rarest of the lot is me actually making my bed whenever I do a video. But hey, we're here and we're smashing out some content. Thanks a lot for all your support too. I've really been um, chuffed uh, over the moon about it. Um, you know, all the engagement and the subscribers and, and everything has been just awesome. So I really do appreciate that. You can you can join my Supercoach group. You can go into Footy Tip Comp with me as well if you want to. And uh, we'll be going live on Tuesday day out from round one starting which is so exciting so that'll be awesome but look let's get stuck into the video and i feel like james sicily and george hewitt are two guys that have really just um been on our minds lately now um just a little shout out to Corey as well i know i was going to do a little bit of a video with a couple of defenders you had in mind mate um i know whitfield was one of them so lock him into your team i just by the time i got around to looking to do it um, there were just a few different moving pieces, so I thought, hopefully, um, I know, I'm pretty sure Sicily was one of the guys you had mentioned, so hopefully this is still relevant to you, and I appreciate your comments, because you, you get involved um, almost as much as anyone, so I appreciate that, mate. Now, we're going to jump into Sicily versus Hewitt. It's about $48,000 between them. Um, Sicily's the slightly more expensive one, and I guess... Let's start with uh, let's start with Sicily. So he's been a star for a long time now. Intercept defender, just rolls off nicely, takes a few kick-ins. But he had a massive injury, missed a lot of footy. Hence, he's underpriced. And also in that time, the Hawthorne backline has actually changed quite a bit. There's a fair bit different going on, so that's worth noting. But looking at his stats, I, I think he's a good selection. I'll give him my verdict at the end of the video. I, I do think he's a good selection. He's definitely underpriced. He definitely could return to his best. But I was slightly off-put by his last practice game where he just didn't find a lot of the ball. Had to play a little bit more accountable, which I believe was because Kyle Hardigan wasn't in the team. But just it just gave me a bit of cold feet that potentially he'd been in my team all pre-season. All pre-season. And I just got a little bit of cold feet looking at him going, geez, it's not easy to come back from a long-term injury. And then I looked at his stats a little closer. His two premium years, I think 105, 102, not actually full seasons. So he's um, he's been hot for parts of the year and you know found a new position initially and that type of thing. So he actually hasn't had a full premium season. And then I got a little bit concerned. And then George Hewitt does the opposite in his practice match. Tears it to shreds. Dominates. Midfield. New coach. New look. He's the man. Help me out, Cripsy. Awesome. Fantastic. He looked unbelievable. Now, he's really got my um, attention, George Hewitt. If you look at his numbers late last year, he did have some midfield games where, if you look at his stats, when the clearances were high, almost every time, his super coach scores were high. So... And he's also played that um, season not too long ago where he averaged high 80s, almost as a pure mid. I can see him averaging somewhere in the 90s. Where that is will be the key question. If he averages 91, then he's handy, but we've probably got to get rid of him at some stage. If he averages 97, we probably hold on to him all year. So I think that's going to be the big difference. What he is, is he's as safe as houses and reliable. He'll tackle hard for you. He'll win plenty of clearances. And he looks to be a real key part of the Blues midfield and centre bounce setup. So that's crucial. And I guess the one thing that you're probably sitting there saying is, Shorty, Sam Walsh, what about when he comes back into the team? I think clearly Walsh will change the amount of times um, George Hewitt is in that centre bounce. But if you reference their last practice game, Matty Kennedy had a ripper, 17 centre bounces, a lot of the ball. He is always the guy that seems to get shunned a bit and plays a bit less um, centre bounce midfield time. So I've heard Voss come out and state that George Hewitt is a part of this midfield. He has a, a clear role to play and particularly supporting Cripps. So 
I don't think it's going to be like, oh, Walsh comes back and he's off to a half-forward flank. So I don't think it's going to be like that for Hewitt. So I do think while there, ha- of course, there has to be an impact and, and most likely a, a, a drop-off, but I, I think Hewitt in himself, even with Walsh, is a genuine selection option. Now, my verdict, and it's probably come across in the way that I've sort of got so excited about George Hewitt, is I could I could encourage going both of them. I definitely could, particularly with the dire issue we have with defensive rookies. But what I will say is I've actually flipped. I'm in the George Hewitt camp. He isn't in my team just yet, but depending how these rookies flow out, He's a strong consider. So my queries on him is, does he have the ceiling? You know, and of course, there's that nagging concern of, gee, can he have those big numbers when Walsh is in there too? But I just got a little bit concerned with Sicily's lack of footy. Um, Just, it has changed a lot, that Hawthorne back line. And they do have a lot more rebounders out of there. I know Day and Impey and CJ are touch and go for round one. But do they have a few more weapons down back? It's changed a hell of a lot. New coach. Is Sicily going to be the the kicking guy all the time? Because Blake Hardwick seems to take a few now. I just got a bit of cold feet. And honestly, if Sicily was the cheaper one and Hewitt was the more expensive one, that could maybe be the difference. But when I was looking at it and I thought, I can pinch 50k here. And that can help me elsewhere with rookies. You know, that was almost enough to sway me. You know, Hewitt isn't in my team yet. You might have seen my last update. I think I'd put Sicily out and brought Short in. So I've got, you know, Hewitt's touch and go chance. It just depends on these rookies. But look, it's a very interesting debate. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Do you have both of them in your team? I'm thinking you probably only have one. Which one is it? I'd love to hear it. So... I'd appreciate your thoughts. Um, Always a good discussion when we tee up two guys against each other. So I'll be back soon. Cheers.